Preston Holm. The player with the most home runs in MLB history is not in the Hall of Fame. Everyone in this room wants recognition for their hard work, sacrifice, and achievements. It should be remembered for, especially if they are the best at what they do. The Baseball Writers Association of America should induct Barry Bonds into the Baseball Hall of Fame. First, I'll talk about Barry Bonds' successful baseball career and started controversy. And second, I'll discuss what the Hall of Fame could do to make it right. Let's first start with Barry Bonds' successful baseball career. Barry Bonds was drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates with the sixth overall pick in the 1985 MLB Draft. He played for the Pirates for seven seasons before signing with San Francisco following the 1992 season. He would play for the Giants for 15 seasons before retiring in 2007. According to Brandon Willman, a multimedia journalism major from Washington State from the journal University Wire published November 3, 2022, Barry Bonds was a seven-time MVP, an eight-time gold glove winner, and a 12-time silver slugger. Barry Bonds has the most home runs in MLB history with 762. The difference, Barry Bonds was so intimidating that he has more intentional walks in his career than the entire history of the Tampa Bay Rays franchise. In baseball, wins above replacement, or war, is a stat that is used to approximate the number of wins you bring to your team. A war of nine in a season is considered an MVP caliber season. According to Liam Kulikin, a journalist and major from Notre Dame from the journal University Wire, published January 31st, 2022, Barry Bonds compiled a 162.7 career war. The difference between the career war of Barry Bonds and a Hall of Famer David Ortiz is approximately equal to the career war of Hall of Famer Mickey Mantle. In other words, if you added David Ortiz and Mickey Mantle, you would get Barry Bonds. With baseball, Barry Bonds' baseball achievements go on and on and have been unmatched by any player ever. Now that you understand Barry Bonds' baseball su success, let's go on to why he should be in the Hall of Fame. The late 1980s to early 2000s are known in the baseball community as the steroid era. This is due to increased steroid use during this time. Even though these performance enhancing drugs have been banned since 1991, the league did not implement mandatory testing until 2003. This meant that there were no real incentives not to take steroids. While it is true that not every player took the needle, it's estimated that over 50% of the league took steroids. According to Quentin Thorne, a journalism major from Hofstra University from the journal University Wire published May 2nd, 2020, the United States District Court found Barry Bonds guilty of using steroids. This court case tainted what could have been viewed as one of the greatest careers in baseball history. According to Ryan Gorsey, a, uni a University of California graduate and sports journalist from the journal The San Francisco Examiner, published January 23, 2019, human growth hormone does not sharpen one's eyesight, nor can it tell the difference between a fastball and a slider, a ball in the zone or out of it. According to Marcus Hayes, a sports journalist for 26 years in the journal TCA News Service, published December 30, 2022, hundreds of players got away with it. So the playing field was nowhere near as skewed as people will have you believe. Also, hundreds of players, managers, GMs, owners, and media members looked the other way during the steroid era because simply it benefited all of them. Players are eligible to make the Hall of Fame five to 15 years after retirement. This gives players 10 years to be on the Hall of Fame ballot to be selected. Due to Barry Bonds' steroid controversy, he never got enough votes to make the Hall of Fame. This is unfortunate because if you split up his career into two separate careers, pre and post steroid, he would have two Hall of Fame caliber careers. Not many people know that David Ortiz, who was inducted in 2022, tested positive for steroids in 2003. There are also other players long been rumored to have taken steroids that are in the Hall of Fame. Before and after taking steroids, Barry Bonds was the greatest of all time, and it's a shame that the league doesn't recognize his impact on the game. Today we learned first that Barry Bonds had one of the most successful baseball careers in MLB history, and second, that he should be inducted into the Hall of Fame regardless of his steroid use. The Baseball Writers Association of America should induct Barry Bonds into the Baseball Hall of Fame. It's a shame that the player with the most home runs in MLB history was left out of the Hall of Fame because you can't tell a story about heroes without the villains. 
and you can't tell the story of baseball without Barry Bonds.